So in Big Bird's words, we've skipped through an introductory sequence that explains to the child what's going on. Okay. Big, Bird, Big Bird has suggested these five words for the child to go find anywhere in their home. Right. So it could be book, magazine, or in this case, it's probably in the kitchen because they're food-oriented words. So Mindy right now is being prompted to drag a word into Big Bird's wordoscope. So go ahead, drag one in there, Mindy. So she's dragged in milk, and you see now we can see Big Bird's wordoscope. Oh, cool. And we're actually looking through the camera. So we're trying to find the word milk, and Mindy's going to get cute and point it at the word cereal. Cereal is not milk. And so we can't hear the audio too well, but Big Bird is saying, excellent job, Mindy. But no. Yeah. <laughs> you found I, I, I know how that goes. Let's go find milk. So let's try milk. Sorry. You should go grab milk. And we'll see, we'll grab, recognize milk. Big Bird says all these wonderful things. And then the app suggests all these other words that are related to milk to help build the child's vocabulary. Will it close my refrigerator and put everything back in that my kid rummaged no, through no. to get to that? Not yet. No, okay. Maybe in an update. All right. <laughs> Very cool. So two products, as I mentioned, that came out of this. One is Big Bird's Words from Sesame that will be available this summer. And then secondarily, this text recognition feature in Vuforia that will be available this spring. So developers will be able to build applications like this gotcha. and other text-based vision experiences for tablets and phones. Cool.